back, Alfred. How can I help you? How could the note written by the old librarian have blown back in through the window? Because that is what was meant to happen, Alfred. Fate wanted it to be that way. Just as Oblivion is unbelievably powerful, but he could keep that note from your hands for but a short time. No. How do characters react when they see me vanishing? Ah, uh, don't worry about that, Alfred. They don't actually see you vanishing. When you go back to a tale, you'll find yourself in the very spot you were when you left. Minutes or hours might have gone by for you, but not a single moment for them. They might find you a little strange, ringing that bell of yours with no apparent reason. I've managed to sneak into the royal palace of Ura, but unfortunately I've been discovered. Oh, ill in fortune indeed. Have you landed in jail again? No, I was mistaken for the new chef to the royal court. Oh, well that's good. No, that's bad. I don't know how to cook. I don't even know where to start. If I can't cook a dish that will satisfy Ninsun, the mother of Gilgamesh, I will be beheaded. Well, it could have been worse. Could have been worse? What's worse than being beheaded? Don't worry, Alfred. You just need a good recipe. How can I find a good recipe? You could get help from the biggest glutton and drunkard of all time, Pantagruel. Look for him in the book Gargantua and Pantagruel. And before I forget, take that bag on the table. What's it used for? It's a magic bag. If you need to take something from one book to another, simply slip it into the bag. But remember, you can only carry one item at a time. Go now, waste no time. Take the bag and then find the book Gargantua and Pantagruel. to go swimming right now. A peaceful watching the water flow by relax. Do you know Pantagruel? Pantagruel? The giant? Do you know him? Pantagruel? The son of the giant Gargantua? Yes, that's him. Then you know of him. Of course I know him. He's a friend of mine. Good. Could you tell me where he is? He's in the tavern behind me. He's feasting to celebrate his return from a... You said that Pantagruel had just returned from a long journey. Tell me about that journey. Some time ago, Pantagruel decided to accompany his inseparable friend, Panurge, in the search for the Oracle of the Holy Bottle. The Oracle of the Holy Bottle? Yes, the Oracle of the Holy Bottle, also known as the Oracle of Bak Bak. Panurge was in need of some important advice. So the two friends started their journey. They visited the farthest lands of the earth and encountered many unbelievable characters. They visited the islands of the Catchpoles, whose peasants charge money to be beaten. They met the Chitterlings, the weird half-sausage inhabitants of a remote island. island. They visited Ranch, whose people eat air. They went up to the Polar Circle. Here they tell that they stopped at a place where they heard, because of the thaw, the cries of an ancient battle that took place many years before and had remained trapped in ice. They even claimed 
to have reached America. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a strange continent, discovered a few decades ago. Of course I've heard of America. Who never heard of America? Well, me, for example, I've never heard of it until I was told about it by those two drunkards. To be honest, I still doubt that such a continent exists. Pantagruel claims that in this land he found many delicacies and many fruit unobtainable here in Europe. Did they find the oracle? It seems so. That's the reason for the feast. It seems they found the oracle in the temple, in the Lantern Land. Tell me about Panurge. Panurge is a beggar varmint and a sneaky trickster. But he's also multilingual, smart, and full of imagination. Pantagruel met him in Paris, where he was sent to study by his father Gargantua. They soon became friends for life. Together, they completed amazing quests, like fighting a sea monster. Friends for life, completing amazing quests. This reminds me of something. What? Nothing important. What's the important advice that Panurge had to ask the Oracle of the Holy Bottle? If he should get married or not. If he should get married or not? Exactly. And what did the Oracle answer? The response of the Oracle was, Trench, which means drink. I suppose that's what they're doing now in that tavern. It's been great chatting with you. See you around. See you. That's not going to work. I'm not thirsty. And even if I was, I'd never drink from that. A water trough. For That's not good. I love flowers, but I don't need to pick them. I have more important. Some beautiful yellow. A normal tree. Just like. I I'm not going to climb that tree. I climbed a tree once as a child and ended up falling right on my head. I'm not going to move that back. It doesn't seem appropriate to remove. Who are you? I am but a simple traveler. I would like to enter the tavern. This is a private party. You can only enter if you tell me the password. I don't know the password. I'm sorry, no party for you. Goodbye! I've heard that a password is needed to enter the tap. Indeed. Panzagruel and Panurge are celebrating their return. Only those who were invited can enter. Via were you not invited? Of course I was invited. Why are you not inside, celebrating with them? Because unfortunately, I don't know the password. It's but another one of Pantagruel's signature follies. That drunkard. He didn't tell any of us the password, but instead told us a riddle, whose solution is the password. Unfortunately, I was not able to solve it. Could you tell me the riddle? Maybe I can help you solve it. You are very kind. The riddle is as follows. We are four children from the same mother, but we can never meet each other. Two sets of twins, each opposed, one of one set hot, whilst the other is cold. The next fall down, but spring up again, yet between them, not a wound ever gain. We are four children from the same mother, but we can never meet each other. Two sets of twins, each opposed, one of one set hot, whilst the other is cold. The next fall down, but spring up again. Yet between them, not a wound ever gain? Okay, I'll think about it. It's been great. See you! Tell me the path.
don't know the past. I'm s Tell me the... The password is seasons. That's right. You can enter. Who are you? Hail. My name is Alfred. I was just passing by and... How did you get in? Who gave you the password? Uh, well, actually, I took a guess. Right, are you trying to trick me? Haven't you heard that I'm the greatest trickster in all the world? Well, it doesn't matter. The rule is that anyone who knows the password can enter. Also, today is a day of celebration. Why would I refuse to eat and drink even in the company of a stranger? <laughs> what did you say your name was? My name is Alfred Walsh. Nice to meet you, Alfred. I'm Pantagruel, son of Gargantua. And that guy near the door is my, is my friend Panurge. He looks like a smelly tramp, but I assure you he's brilliant in his own way. Oh, thank you so much for the compliments, pig. <laughs> we are celebrating. We're toasting the completion of our journey to seek the Oracle of the Holy Bottle. Alfred, you are most welcome here. Please eat and drink wine with us. Ass assuming you can find a bottle that's not already empty. <laughs> Tell me about Pantagruel. Pantagruel is a filthy, drunken glutton. It's better to stay away from him. But that smelly and foul pig is my best friend. We've been through a lot of adventures together. He accompanied me in the journey to seek the Oracle of the Holy Bottle, and I will be forever grateful to him for that. It's been great chat. See ya. The tap is stuck. I can't draw wine until I find a way to open it. A tap mounted on a barrel to draw off wine. I can't open the tap. I'd better not disturb him. He is intent on drinking. I'd better not disturb A customer intent on gorging food. A customer. She's been drinking non-stop since I, as I entered. If I drank even half of what she has, I'd be completely blocked. Hail! God bless you, foreigner. Can I ask you a question? I'd prefer to ask you one first, if you don't mind. Ask me? Uh, yes. Why are your clothes so strange? Strange clothes? Well, these are typical clothes from my country. Typical clothes from your country? I never saw such strange ones. Where are you from? It would take too long to explain. I'll tell you another time. Can I take this? Of course you can. Fill it with wine and drink to our house. Bless you, foreigner. Can I ask you a question? I prefer to ask, ask me. What are you? strange shoes? Oh, yes, you mean my sneakers. What are sneakers? Never heard of them. It would take too long to explain. Tell me about the journey in search of the Oracle of the Holy Bottle. Oh, I would tell you willingly, my new friend, but I would need hours to narrate all the events of our long pilgrimage and doing so would distract my attention from all this good food and good wine. It would be a sacrilege, don't you think? You're right, but at least let me ask the reason for your trip. The reason why myself and Panurge started our journey is very simple. That ragged beggar Panurge wanted to take a wife, but he was tormented by a thousand doubts. 
He wasn't sure if it was a wise choice, and he was afraid of choosing the wrong woman. He consulted a large number of magicians, fortune tellers, theologians, and philosophers, but no one was able to give him a convincing answer. So we decided to take the sea in search of the legendary oracle of Baba... I'd like to cook a great meal, but I can't cook. You're an expert on good food. Could you give me a recipe so that I can surprise even the most discerning palate? So, you want a good recipe? Yes, please. I would be grateful. What is the recipe for? I bet you want to impress a woman. A woman? Yes, more or less. Oh, if you want to impress a woman, then you don't need a good recipe. You need an exceptional recipe. What, what about it, girls? Is our new friend worthy enough to receive one of my exceptional, exceptional recipes? Test him, Pantagruel. Good idea. I'll test you. To be worthy of my culinary arts, you'll need to prove yourself a wine connoisseur. I'll give you the recipe only if you tell me what spices are used to prepare my favorite wine, Hippocras. Hippo what? I don't even know what that is. Please, give me the recipe. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, women. It's always a matter of life and death whenever women are concerned. Don't you agree, Panners? No comment. I've thrown down the gauntlet, my new friend. You'll tell me the Hippocrat's ingredients if you want my recipe. <laughs> and now, let's go back to eating and drinking to the health of Panners. I need this like I need a kick in the head. Where can I find the innkeeper? The innkeeper? You better ask Panners. He gave him the boot. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't get the ch- Out of curiosity, big as you are, how did you get in here? I don't imagine you could walk through the front door. It's simple, my new friend. I broke down the wall behind me. The innkeeper was none too happy about that, so Panners, to make amends, repaired the wall with planks of wood. It was back-breaking work, too, you stinky damn pig! It's been great chat. See? I'd better not touch it. A nice fire. Indispensable in making a ta- The traveling case is closed. There's a strange mechanism locking it shut. Hey, Alfred, what are you doing? Are you rummaging through Panarch's baggage? Be careful, because you could get offended. I could be offended, but today I'm feeling charitable. Also, there is nothing of value in those bags, except for in the traveling case on top. But I defy anyone to open it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I don't get the joke. There is nothing interesting in the back. I already rummaged through that baggage. There's... The door is locked. A wooden door. It probably leads to the kitchen. I love. Do you know what spices are used to prepare Hippocrats? Unfortunately, no. Pantagruel asked me a long time ago to prove to him that I was worthy of his company. Sadly, I was not able to answer him. It's been great. Spices are used to prepare Hippocrats. 
Oh. Do you want me to tell you the answer to the question that the sadistic Pantagruel asked you? Yes, please. Sorry. No way. You have to. Otherwise, what fun. Damn it. Where can I find the innkeeper? The innkeeper is locked up in the cell. You locked him up in the cellar? Why on earth would you do that? Because he was ruining the party. He complained about the noise and the fact that we were consuming too much wine. So I got him drunk and then I locked him up in the cellar. You locked him up in the cellar? Exactly. I locked him up in the cellar and I hid the key so that we can enjoy this party in peace. Where is the cellar? Behind the door next to the fireplace. If you think you can find the key, you should know just how wrong you are. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't get the joke. It's been great. See ya. A tap mounted on a barrel to draw off wine. I can't open the tap. It seems to be stuck. Let's hope they don't. It contains olive oil. I hope this oil doesn't get my coat. now well oiled. It should work. Panurge, I bet you can't down this bottle. Or Are you kidding? Don't you know that apart from Pantagruel, I am the biggest guzzler in all of France? Give me that. Incredible. Panurge, I bet you can't down this bottle all in one. Give me that. Incredible. that uh -huh. I can't believe it you got Fanar drunk look at him he's sleeping like a baby but of course he downed three bottles non-stop I do not think it's due to the three bottles rather to the 20 he drank before ah! 20 bottles a note I hope it contains some interesting information. The traveling case is closed. There's a strange mechanism locking it shut. Hey, Alfred, what are you doing? Are you rummaging through Panurge's baggage? But seeing as you got him wasted, I think there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> the traveling case is closed. 
There's a strange mechanism locking it shut. Tell me again about Panage. Panage? They together. The journey. The response of the oracle was trench, which means drink. I sup Tell me again. They together. The response of the oracle was trench, which means drink. I suppose that. It's been great. See. Hey, wake up! Damn, he's totally wasted. I'll have to figure out a better way to sober him up. Trying to fix the mill. Who the hell started the wheel turn? What the? Who the hell started the wheel turning? What are you doing in there? Who gave you permission to be in there? I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to take a look at the mill. Come down immediately before I lose my t- Okay, okay, don't get angry. Never do that again! There is nothing in What the what the hell? My name's Alfred, and you are in the cellar of your tavern. Oh, uh, how can I help you, Alfred? Do you know what spices are used to prepare Hippocras? Hippocras? Of course I know. Hippocras is prepared using honey, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, and nutmeg. Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome. It's been great chatting with you. Now... I'm ready to answer your question about the Hippocras. Oh, good! So honey, cinnamon, Ginger. Very good! You've earned one of my recipes! Ooh, I just have to figure out which one is the most suitable. Tell me about the lady you're cooking for. What kind of woman is she? 
Uh, well, actually, I don't know much about her. You'd better find out. To be a successful cook, it's essential to know who you're cooking for. What are you doing? Why did you leave the kitchen? Tell me about the Mother Queen, Ninsan. Why on earth would I tell you about her? Because it will help me to understand what kind of dish is most suitable for her. Ah, uh, Ninsan, also known as the Great Queen. Married, nobody knows of her origins for sure. She's also the High Priestess of the Kingdom. Ninsan is wise. She knows and understands everything. Gilgamesh himself would have been lost without her wise advice. Damn, I'll have to cook up an impressive meal. You for the It's been for the for the Please give me the recipe. It's a matter of... She's a queen and she's adored as a goddess. She is wise and she knows and understands everything. Ah, uh, the eyes of the lovers. They always behold their beloved woman as if they were queens and goddesses. Very good then. So I'd say that we need something special. Give him recipe number 32. Of course, here it is. I need to find the ingredients. I'll probably need Merlin's advice again. Oh no! That disgusting black substance is jumping to other books. It's caused by oblivion. I must stop him before it's too late. 